Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, I'm Shane. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at smthomas3 and also go to codekarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter over here and if the book offer is still available, go ahead and sign up for a chance to win a free book. Today we're going to be on episode number 68 and we're going over a simple module that can be helpful for many different purposes when you're building Drupal websites. The module we're going over today is the Frequently Asked Questions module, the FAQ module for short. It, if you look at the preview, allows you to have questions and allow clickable questions that take you to the answer. So if you have a list of frequently asked questions from clients, if you're building a business website or some kind of online service, this module can definitely help you out. Or let's say you're an e-commerce shop and you also have customers who call in with questions or complaints or any inquiries in general, I guess this works very well. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a test site here. I've already installed the Frequently Asked Questions module and I've populated it with a few questions. As you can see, the Frequently Asked Questions module has been enabled. You can also click on permissions and find there are some frequently asked questions permissions so you may want to make sure anonymous users can view FAQ pages for instance and as far as administer the module and the order you probably want to keep that for administrative use only so now anonymous users would be able to see this page but I've went ahead and I've added some questions so you can get to the page by going to FAQ-page you can see I already have a list of frequently asked questions in this or on this page. Before we get too far, I'm going to go ahead and go to the main menu and add a menu link to this page. We'll go ahead and just add some weight to that and save it just so we have a menu item here. And as you can see, there's a little menu item up here. So go ahead and click on that. It brings you to the Frequently Asked Questions page. You can see if I click on one of these questions, we'll say we'll click on the last one, it brings me down to this question. So I only have four questions here. And each one has a back to top link, which will bring me back up to the actual questions. Each time I click a question, it brings me to the answer. Pretty simple. If I click on the title of one of the questions, it brings me to the more full node page. So if you wanted people to be able to comment on specific questions or whatever, you could keep that in place. In most cases, or at least in my case, when I've used this before, I don't actually want them to go to a separate page. I just want everything listed in one area. Luckily, it's relatively easy to configure this, and there are a lot of configuration options. So you can go ahead and take a look by, if you have the night or the administration menu module, it's just in configuration, content authoring section, frequently asked questions. You can change the title of the frequently asked questions. So I could change this to say about Code Karate, for instance. And you can add a description. I added one here. There's also this create custom breadcrumbs for the FAQ. So that, I'll show you what that does. So we'll save this. We'll go back. As you can see now the title changed. My description's here. If I click on one of these, you see this breadcrumb here. That brings me back to the frequently asked questions page. That's what that one option, that bottom checkbox, will actually allow you to do. So we'll keep going as far as the administration of this is concerned. There's a questions tab up here. So this is a general settings. Here's the question settings. There's a lot of options here. So you'll see I'm not going to be able to go over them all, but, but you should be able to at least get the idea and play around with it yourself. So you can change the page layout so the questions are in line. Or you can have it right now where it's clicking on the question takes us to the answer further down the page. So I'm going to cl say clicking on the question opens or hides the answer under the question. You can have it be an unordered list looks like that's the only option that I have right now. You can change the labels of the questions and answers. And you can just do a couple other things. It looks like, you know, in some cases some of these are disabled, but 
depending on what you select up above that I'm guessing that changes what you can select down here one thing is I want to disable the question links to nodes because I don't want it to bring or I don't want it to bring me to the node page at all I want it just to make sure that I see the questions and answers I don't really care that the node pages exist I just want them to be able to easily get the answers they're looking for so I'm going to go ahead and save this come back to the page and now you can see I only have the four questions I click on it goes ahead and it just expands it out so as you can see that makes it a little nicer as far as my perspective you might like something else so go ahead and try to configure it the way you want it and it is pretty flexible there's the order button here you can change the order of these items manually there is also a default ordering as well which defaults I think to show the newest first but as you can see I changed the order now this one shows up in the middle also there's some fun trivia on the daily dose of Drupal in here so you can read that also let's go back to the administration and look at the category section this will allow you to actually apply categories to the frequently asked questions so you can categorize the content based on taxonomy if you have the taxonomy module enabled I'm not going to go over this but just be aware that it's here you can install the taxonomy module if you haven't already categorize questions and you can you can put questions in specific categories so if you have a large amount of frequently asked questions and you have let's say you're an e-commerce store you have a bunch of questions on shipping policies you could have a category with a term for shipping you could have a question on customer returns things like that where I wouldn't normally use this unless you do have a larger list of questions that needs further categorization but it is here as an option and you can go ahead and try this out it's similar to the other questions page as far as options are concerned and shouldn't be too hard to figure out if you have already gotten this far so that's it for today on the daily dose of Drupal go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Google Plus as well I didn't mention that earlier and we'll be back again next time with another episode so thanks again for watching. Goodbye.